Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Foxtech video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how you can capture your iPad screen using QuickTime Player. So if you're looking to screen record your iPad without any on-screen indicators, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great way, I'm gonna explain everything to you. At first, let me clarify that while the iPad has a built-in screen recording feature, it has its limitations. For example, it constantly displays a red indicator at the top of the screen while recording and this doesn't offer much, you know, it's, it just looks a little bit odd and out of place. I don't personally like it and that may be one of the reasons why you want to use the QuickTime instead. And also you don't have any quality settings or adjust, you can, cannot adjust anything in terms of the screen recording. QuickTime Player, on the other hand, is a versatile media player which is available on Mac computers. It is built in, you don't have to download it. And to use it for a screen recording of your iPad, you'll need to connect your iPad to your Mac using a USB cable. Once your iPad is connected, you need to click on Trust and the usual process. But once you do have that, you open up QuickTime Player on your Mac and you can find it in the app, so just go through it. And when the QuickTime is open, navigate to the menu bar at the top screen and click on a file. In the drop down menu, you'll see several options, including new audio recording, new screen recording, and new movie recording. I mean, now it might seem logical to use the new screen recording, and this option is for recording your Mac screen, so not your iPads. Instead, you'll want to choose new movie recording. When you select the this option, a new window will open, showing the default camera view from your Mac. To switch the input to your iPad, click on the small arrow next to the record button in the movie recording window, and this will open a drop-down menu where you can see and select different input sources. So you can choose the camera and the microphone, and in case you have a third-party one, you can pick that one but you need to select your iPad somewhere on the list and this will make sure your iPad is going to be displayed in the screen time so you can screen record it there and record a movie of your iPad. So yes, this is essentially how it works. Once you have everything set up the way that you want, you can click the record button to start capturing your iPad screen. It's really great because you don't have any on-screen indicators and I believe that the time is also reset so for example it doesn't show the exact time on your iPad, it will default to 941. So yeah, a couple of details like this but it's pretty nice. So once you're finished you can export the screen recording of your iPad or save it, whatever you want to do but this is how you can do it. Hope you found this video useful, if you did, hit the thumbs up subscribe below and I will catch you in the future.